Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we caught our second team member, which was a Piplup. We nicknamed it Percy, and we made it throughout two or three all the way up here to Orberg City. And in today's episode, we will take on the first gym leader of this game, Gym Leader Roark, I believe is his name. He is uh, the ground type gym leader. Here we have Barry standing outside the gym, waiting to get inside the gym because uh, no one's actually inside it as of now. So uh, we are going to go all the way to Orberg Mines to find uh, the gym leader and take him back to his gym because that's where he needs to be. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, and first of all, I'd like to apologize. In the previous episode, I said Percy was the son of Zeus. In the Greek mythology, Percy is actually the son of Zeus, but that is a different Percy. And I was confused, and a lot of you guys were correct when you saying he's not the son of Zeus, he's the son of Poseidon. So, um, I do apologize, because, like, a lot of you guys seem to be upset over it, and I don't really see what the big deal was. So, forgive me for, uh, making a mistake. Um, anyways, here's a Pokeball right here. Oh, let me show you what I did, too. Uh, let's press start. I actually trained Percy all the way up to level 12. I went back to that patch of grass out, like, right in front of our hometown. And I literally trained there, and every time he'd get weak and about to die, I'd always go back to my mom and heal. So it was a really nifty, easy way for me to train. So easy, um, I actually got him to level 12. There were a lot of, uh, Ty or not Tyranitars, but the first form of Tyranitar. Uh, Pipitar, I think is his name. There was a lot of those, so I was able to use Bubble on them, and Shazam, that did the trick. So we have a Shirim. Um, I'm not sure what gen this is because I'm not really good with any other gen except for first and second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run. Usually in this mine, in Orberg Mines, you will find a ton of Zubats and Geodudes. It's really, really rare to find any other Pokemon. I think it's just Z Zubats and Geodudes. Sometimes Machops, I believe. That's very rare, but so far we've ran into everything except Geodude and Zubat. But we just ran into Geodude now, so that's cool. I'm not going to catch anything here. It's too late for me to catch anything. Some of you guys really don't understand the rule about... Uh, come on, seriously! How many of these are there going to be? I, th I think I have a Repel. Love Disk. Oh, man. I, that Pokemon evolves into a nice Pokemon. Alright, I'm going to use one of my Repels. I know for a fact I have one. Uh, where was it? Medicine? Nope. Was it Items? Was it in... Where was it? Where would they put repels? Because I, I know I know I have one. What? Seriously? Okay, maybe I'm mistaken. I th oh my god! How many of these battles are there going to be? Holy shit! Infernip level 7. Oh, too bad I can't catch this. I'd love to catch you, man, but sadly I can't. So we're just going to have to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Now the rule is here in the Nuzlocke challenge. See how I ran into an Infernape right now. If I kill this Infernape right now, there is no more Infernapes for me to catch. Even though if I like even if I run into another Infernape in a different route that's completely different than this area right here, I still can't catch it. That's the rule that I made for myself. It's you can only catch the first Pokemon you run into into in like a, each route, and you can only catch the first Pokemon you see. So if you see another Pokemon, so if like it flees, if it faints, if you kill it on accident then no more Pokemon for you. And look at that. Fraligator. How awesome is that? Infernape and Fraligator. God damn. You would be an awesome addition to my team, young one. Sadly, I can't have you on my team. It's so awesome just to like play this game and just see what Pokemon you'll run into. You just freak out. Oh, that's That would happen, right? In front of the freaking gym leader. We'd get into a wild Pokemon battle. I could have sworn to I had a repel. I remember picking one up back in one of the previous routes, not two or three actually, when we were fighting off the trainers there. Huh. I don't know. I, I, I could be mistaken though. Hello. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in the town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. All right, Roark, go to your gym. It's pretty obvious that was him, because he was the one wearing a hat. So, also, another thing that I realized about this game, um, and to why Pokemon are a lot harder to catch, is because the catch rate is actually a lot lower than normal, just because it's the Nuzlocke run. Uh, when you play, or when you ever want to do a Nuzlocke challenge, there's a specific 
emulator and game that you have to actually pick because it makes the Pokemon tougher, it makes them harder to catch and all that jazz. I think, I think we don't need to heal, yeah, we're good. Because I healed out my mom and then I came here and then I kept uh, running from the battle. So here we are, the first gym. You can actually skip, I think, some of these traits. Yeah, you can, but I'm not going to do that. I actually really want to evolve Piplup today. I think he evolves at level 14. Um, if not, then it's definitely 16, and then he'll evolve into his second form, which is all good. We are challenged by youngster Jonathan. He sends out his Geodude. Go, Percy. Ah, oh, God. They're in for a nice, nice treat. Oh, yeah. Bubble that crap. Bubble him! And that killed him. Super effective. That's why it was really awesome to have this guy on my team. I, mean, I could have used... Uh, I mean, I, I could have easily used Garchomp and just did Dragon Rage, which would have done 40 damage, like, guaranteed on any of their Pokemon, which probably would have killed them all in technically one hit, but that still would have been somewhat cheap. And I still somewhat feel kind of like a cheapo using Garchomp as my starter. But I wasn't going to pick Zigzagoon. Like, seriously, that's even worse than picking a regular starter. So there's no way in hell that I was going to use a Zigzagoon. Now, some of you guys I know are going to be confused about, oh, that's Darius? Holy crap. That's a League of Legends champion name. That's so sweet. I See, if I wasn't playing League of Legends, I wouldn't have known that. I'm like, what the hell's a Darius? <laughs> Alright, we're going to be cheap and use Bubble. But, um, when I actually started playing Nuzlocke, when I wanted to do this, I actually assumed that all of the gym leaders and champion and the Elite Four and all the trainers would have randomized Pokemon as well, but that's not the case. They actually have their original Pokemon. Um, the only randomized things are the Pokemon that you'll get, the Pokemon you'll find in the wild, and that's about it. And then the Nuzlocke rules, you just add them onto yourself. There's no special uh, thing in the game that differentiates Nuzlocke from non-Nuzlocke, because, I mean, you wouldn't really be able to tell. Unless you actually are playing this emulator, you'll be you'll you'll tell the difference because of the catch rate and how strong the Pokemon will be. And we grew level 14, so this is it. We'll see if Percy evolves or not. And he does not evolve, so I guess it's level 16. Welcome, this is Orberg G Pokemon Gym. I am Roker, the gym leader. I am I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And all the and I'll need to see the toughness of your Pokemon with battle too. Alright. So this is it. Sully Pones versus Roark. He has three Pokemon. My guess is two Geodudes and an Onyx. Or two Onyxes and a Geodude. Because gym leaders love to have duplicates of the same Pokemon. I'm not sure why. Out of all the Pokemon they can pick, they love to pick the duplicate ones. I don't know. They're, they're, they're kind of dumb in that sense, but I don't know. Now he's going to send out Onyx. Will you switch? I will keep battling. I want to evolve him today. I don't know if I will or not. But uh, usually when I do uh, Let's Plays like these or Pokemon LPs, I usually like to make the Gym Leader battles just in a single video. So I do apologize if this video is going to be rather short today. And I know I promised that I was going to do a marathon of this game. And that will, in fact, start this Friday. So you'll get three videos a day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that will be a total of nine videos in three days. The reason why I don't start it like now is because I have, I, I'm in school and I was doing really bad last semester and I can't do bad this semester otherwise I'll fill the year and I don't want that to happen so um, I only record once a day and then the rest of the day is dedicated to school work uh, because recording and editing and rendering three videos and then uploading them is really a hassle especially the double rendering time that I get with doing Pokemon. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Peck. Oh, Peck's a crappy move. I don't want to learn that. Forget. Okay, let's see what moves. Eh. Peck's a flying move. You know what? Peck is not even that great. Give up, Peck. You don't really start learning better moves until later on in the game. Or later on in the levels. Corny does. Alright. Think you can take this next Pokemon down like you did earlier? Alright, let's do this. We got this, man. Use Ted but uh oh, uh oh. God, that would suck if one of my Pokemon die. That, that seriously would if like one of them die. Uh, you know, I'm going to switch out to Aragon. Come back, young one. Go, Aragon. Show him who's boss. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't kill me. Thank God. All right, we're going to use Dragon Rage. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Wasn't super effective, but it was normal, so I knew that would do the trick. And Aragon goes up to level 13. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> Player defeated L Leroar. What, what? That can't be. Yes, it can. I just defeated you, man. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge. Since you've beaten me, the gym leader, here's our official League Coal Badge. So they received the Coal Badge. I don't really know this, but because I've never watched the anime or the cartoon, if you want to call it that. But when you beat a gym leader, is there, is there only one person who can beat a gym leader, or can multiple people beat it? Because I know Gary and Brock, or Gary and Ash, are both competing to uh, to make it to the Pokemon League. So I know they all had gym badges, but I don't really know how it works in this game. Because I know I saw a trainer in like the previous episode who, who said that she had. Uh, the coal badge, which was the first badge that you get in this game. And he was surprised that he freaking lost to me. Seriously? He lost to a stupid lassie girl that gives out freaking Girl Scout cookies. Alright, I'm gonna go heal. This is my first time I'm ever using a Pokemon Center in this game. Oh, it's gonna feel so great. Ah, oh, not having to run all the way back to my mother just to heal. Now, I somewhat feel like this game is going to be a little too easy for me, so I'm going to take one heal away. So instead of two heals per city and then one more after gym battles, what I'm going to do is just going to make it two heals per city, that's it. No more after gym battles. So we're only getting two heals, so I just used one out of two heals in this gym, or in this city. Um, so yeah, I believe in the next episode we will, uh, I'm not sure exactly what we'll do, so we'll have to wait and see. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I do apologize once again for the episode being short. I know a lot of you guys want longer videos. And trust me, this Friday you guys will get the marathon of your lives. Three videos a day, if not four. We'll, we'll go crazy this weekend with, with how many videos we'll put out. So uh, thank you guys all so much for your support. And thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Peace.